New at noon, the sec second annual Northeast Mississippi Addiction Summit is right around the corner. Emma James, the executive director of the Health Alliance, is here to tell us all about it. Emma, what can people expect when they go to the summit? Um, I think a lot of people think it's going to be uh, highbrow, medical, only people that work in addiction and recovery right. can come. Um, actually, it's kind of the opposite of that. We welcome all the community to this event. Um, it was put on with the people in mind that are suffering through this, whether that be personally or as a family member or a friend. Um, the people that we want there and the people that everyone that works in addiction and recovery are the regular community members. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as a strong community of Mississippi, people look to us for how, how we work how Northeast Mississippi does something trickles into the rest of the state. We lead in a lot of those places. Yeah. And personally, I would love for us to be the leading example in what it looks like to be a, a community that embraces the recovery um, folks. Absolutely. Um, we have tons of great people providing a lot of resources and a lot of... Um, We're looking at that flyer right now. Do you want to talk a little bit about what the event itself will look like? What yeah. What will be going on? We'll have four main sessions in uh, a larger room. We'll mm -hmm. have two sessions um, of breakouts. They range anywhere from codependency to how can we as community members step in to support people that are wrapped up in CPS, drug court, um, you know, all of those aspects of our community where anyone can serve. Absolutely. Um, but the people that we really want is, I know that there's somebody listening right now right. that is saying, I really want to go, but that feels really uncomfortable. Right. And so as a person who has two brothers in recovery, mm -hmm. I wish my family would have had that. Right. Because I know what it feels like to sit there and throw every single thing at a wall and it slide down and nothing sticks. Nothing sticking, yeah. But I also know what it feels like for it to stick. Finally break through. And, you know, I, I'm one of many people that got to see restoration and hope play out in their loved ones. I also know many people that didn't get to see that. But what all of us have in common is that now we have experience that we can share with other people to give them hope and to help lead them into a life of recovery. Absolutely. And these past three weeks, you know, y'all covered it today. There is trauma on trauma on trauma. That's there what I was going to ask. I was going to ask, why is it so timely? And then we'll... Yeah, okay. there's, there's trauma from the storm and people think, well, that's just rebuilding. Mm -hmm. No, there is emotional damage being happening. There is loss of jobs. There is loss of income that is, the ripple effects are kind of endless. And a lot of the times, you know, as friends, as family members, we might think that we're helping when we say, you know what, just kick back, have a drink, I know you're stressed. And what we don't know is that this untreated trauma. Something underlying, yeah. And then going into all of this self-medication yeah. is like we're setting ourselves with a mini epidemic of Absolutely. addiction. So basically anyone who who might have a family member that's being affected or or even if you aren't affected but you just want to help other people in the community come out to this event come figure out how to support others support your community support your loved ones and hopefully find that something that will stick. Yeah go online look it. at the agenda the breakout sessions there's something for everybody if cost is a concern let us know we'll be happy to help. All right. Thank you so much for coming in today. And coming up 